Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Strange times we live, uh, and um, now we're supposed. Now it's been for some time already. Uh, the big guy who uh, smashes everybody in the teeth claims that is going to be attacked by the little guy uh, while it's at it, and we are supposed to believe that. What's going on here? The Ukrainians, the one advisor. Ukrainian advisor, presidential advisor, um, Podolyak, comes out and uh, he says that the Wagnerites that are in Belarus, about 5,000 Wagnerites, mercenaries, private military company, however you want to call them, um, who are stationed right now in Belarus, I'm not going to go into that, they were kicked out of Russia and they're over there. Somehow Russia wants to use them to attack NATO through Poland. Well, 5,000 that have only machine guns will attack NATO. I have a gut feeling that there will be a little incident at the border between Belarus and Poland and both sides will point fingers. As we know that, let's see what's the next step. Do you think anybody's going to invade? I don't think so, because the Russians, I don't think, will have uh, patience with uh, Poland and use uh, conventional... Um, you know, military forces and force. They would probably use something else and say back off, otherwise you won't, you will meet the, the same fate you had between what? 1795 until uh, 1918, which there was no Poland, but this might be different. So I think the Poles know that the Russians have no patience with them. They talk, they talk, they do, but they know if the Poles get in a scuffle with Russia, Russia will not use tanks, uh, conventional missiles, uh, pa, 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 but I don't think so. And I think they know that very well. But nevertheless, what's going on here? We have this uh, Podolyak telling us that actually Russia wants to fight NATO with the Wagnerites. Well, from the Russian perspective, they say, no, the Poles want to actually take over parts of uh, Ukraine and parts of maybe uh, Belarus at the orders of the United States of America. So you see, the, both sides see it the way they want it. It's both some truth in from each side, but you know they, they this is the truth, and they pick puck, 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 and you make your own uh, conclusion and version of events. Now that's why you have so much understanding. But no, the understanding is because people want other people's stuff, and obviously, obviously those other people don't want to give it mocha for nothing. So then these guys, being stronger, want to take it. The new voice of Ukraine. Russia may use Wagner mercenaries to attack NATO through Poland. Now, how idiotic that is. They want to attack in the Baltic states. Presidential advisor. Not impossible. It's, everything is possible. Is it probable? Uh, I think that we have a lot of problems. And I said it be this before and I will say it again. I think that a lot of weapons. I don't have any uh, evidence to provide. So this is just an intellectual, you know, wandering around. But my gut feeling and my experience uh, tells me that the weapons, some weapons that were delivered by the Western countries in Ukraine to destroy the Russians ended up already in the hands of some bad, bad dudes with a lot of money, which is organized crime, big organized crime. And those guys will have to settle some scores against other big organized crimes, uh, cartels, and they will probably try to uh, influence some politics in the Western Europe, my friends. And since these things were delivered, and remember the vampire um, will, will be delivered, they're not delivered yet, the ones that you can install them on the back of a pickup truck, I made a, a, a video on that one, I'm pretty sure those will also end up in these bad people's hands. And I expect, not expect, as I, were, I predict, that's the word, I predict through a gut feeling, I don't have any evidence or anything, that these guys will commit stupid, stupid things in the Western Europe to influence politics and settle scores with others. And then the Europeans will say, well, that's the Russians. And they might point the finger at the Wagnerites. Maybe the Wagnerites will do some hanky-panky because they're not angels, okay? So they might do it, but they will, instead of saying, yes, it was that organized crime, that organized crime, no, it's the Wagnerites. 
That's how these guys solve the problem, when it's an inconvenient truth to be told. Instead of saying, yes, these are these guys because of that, because that will imply they were wrong and uh, they're infallible. They can't make mistakes, it seems like. Everything was good, they never make mistakes. If they make mistakes, they just understand, even though two or three countries are uh, destroyed, like Iraq, or we learned uh, some good lessons. In the meantime, um, hundreds of thousands of people uh, had problems. Millions were affected, countries were destroyed, economies were raised, the power structure was... Uh, and uh, suffering, a lot of suffering, but it's okay. We learned some valuable lessons. Next one, uh, Ukraine, let's go. And after Ukraine, what? Romania? And the next one, Poland? All this is fight, it's, it's a fight occurring here by some people from here. Do you understand that? These guys are suffering, they are fighting, and I'm right here. What do you think is going to happen in Taiwan? The same scenario. I'm going to be right here. What, what happened in Iraq? It's never here. And the first time something like that might occur, I don't know, maybe in the future, you see how burnt this guy is going to be. Oh my God, it happened to us. And you remember those uh, ugly terrorist attacks in September 11? How awful and they were. What did they do? They went and they hit, they hit whomever they wanted. And then, well, we were hit, American territory. But why did they attack us? They said, why, why, why do they hate us? Why did they attack? I mean, I think the answer was very freaking clear. Who attacked you and why? Terrorist act? Yes, terrorist act, terrorist act. But if you're not going to move in to solve the problem, no, it was not. Because they hate our values, our freedoms. This was, these weasels, uh, uh, the mass media and the politicians in the United States of America in September, after September 11. That was the reason given to the masses why those idiots, you know, committed the terrorist attacks uh, in Washington, D.C. and New York and so on. Is because they hate our freedom and these guys yeah man I'm, I'm free i'm free i'm free our freedom and our way of life that that was the reason the same here when there would be these organized crime cartels doing bad stuff they will not say wait a second maybe it's the consequences of uh, mujahideens al-qaeda isis they're not gonna make that connection no 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 even though everybody else knows it no 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 we're gonna make the connection here uh, Wagner writes, Russian Wagner writes weapons. Yeah, that's why it is. And again, they will not solve a problem. Why? Because the, the, the reality will be inconvenient. Say, okay, these crazies have American weapons provided by the Russians. So let's see what this weasel has to say here. Russia may embark on a hybrid aggression against NATO, employing mercenaries from PMC Wagner Group. Presidential Office Advisor Mikhail Podolyak tweeted on blah, blah, blah. Well, maybe. It's possible, but remember, Wagner Group is what? 5,000 people in Belarus without uh, heavy equipment. He specifically pointed the border regions of Poland and the Baltic countries as being under threat. Yes, the 5,000 will attack Poland. Okay, yeah, right. Which I, I think is going to beef up its military to 300,000 people. I think right now it's 250 or something. Well, that's that right. They can have 5 million if they want. They would have the ability. And someone else is paying. Anyway, Podolyak tweeted, highlight, tweet highlighted that such actions would align with Russia's strategy of raising the stakes. If they want to raise the stakes, we're going to just use nuclear weapons, you idiots, to expert pressure on NATO allies. One nuclear weapon will, uh, will exert the biggest pressure on NATO allies if they would choose to be idiots. The aim of this aggression, oh, it's already an aggression or in the future, would be to influence the support extended to Ukraine by member countries of the alliance. No, they should, on the contrary, they should say, no, we will now, we are under attack now, we really are under attack, so let's go. So that means drawing these guys in. You want to join them in? There are many ways to stop this uh, uh, stupid war that occurs on the territory of Ukraine for other interests. It's very, it's clear. It's just, again, they don't want to do it. There's a reason. Look how many, how much money is made out of a certain kind of lucky uh, enterprises. But it's not only that. The, the things are bigger than that, much bigger than that. It's about money and control, obviously. And control is about the global control, not Ukraine. Ukraine is just where uh, these guys are trying to get those guys. And after they get those guys, if they get those guys, they want to go move to the next guys uh, <clears throat> by Taiwan. Uh, hint, hint. Let's see the last uh, paragraph, I think, here. 
uh, which is not. Uh, Podoliak emphasized the PMC Wagner fighters would likely target specific border territories of Poland and the Baltic countries, as they are unlikely to remain idle in their tent camps in Belarus. So this is his, his uh, evidence because they are unlikely to remain idle in their camps. That's why they will just start stupid wars in Poland and the Baltic states. And this is an advisor. All right, hire him. So again, infiltrating Ukrainian borders with reconnaissance and sabotage group. Possible, man, possible, possible. But you see, the thing is, you, if you use this logic in this, uh, analyzing this situation, you should use the same logic in the other one. No, they, they, they don't. Poland has a big interest in Western Ukraine, as we all know. And if you don't know, just uh, do two clicks or read one good book uh, or look in the history books. It's just there. Uh, and you have a lot of Poles that um, talk to them and ask them about Lviv or Lvov uh, and not only. So they have an interest over there. It doesn't mean that they will have to do anything about it. No, no. But if you use the logic that those guys are idle, why don't you use the other guys being idle with interest? My point here is this, something will happen and we're going to be blamed on the Wagner rights with good reason or bad reason. It's going to be the same thing as September 11. Something happened, uh, Saddam Hussein. Was it Saddam Hussein? <laughs> that was the first one, Saddam Hussein. Boom. So the same here, when, when something will happen, I predict we're going to be Wagner rights, Belarus. And the Russians want to create this problem. Why would they want to create this problem? Russians just, if, if they want to, let's put it, uh, uh, no, put pressure on the Western countries, they just have to do what they do right now. Stop the grain uh, exports, for instance. Or just detonate a, an atomic bomb somewhere. As they said, a low, low intensity one. And say the next one is going to be in space or something. And I guarantee you that scaredy cats here will be like, oh my God, no more TV, no more beer for me, no more sports. Uh, dangerous and you got people like Podoliak who comes and makes these kind of connections that are really, I mean, that could be, but it's so unlikely. He makes scenarios out of uh, whatever he wants to, uh, you know, what opinions he wants to change, but probably that's his job. Changes his presidential, uh, president's opinions, which I don't think they come from him, they come from far away. Zelensky is just... Just a uh, follower, he has to, uh, he got a script, he's got, uh, you know, tasks at hand, check, 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 check. And after the, all those things are done, he's going to go and go somewhere else, probably to, I don't know, London, um, Israel or United you know, States of America. These are usually the three places where uh, <laughs> why so many oligarchs uh, fled uh, Russia and lived where? Go and check them out, mostly in London. <laughs> the land of the free now. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.